Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my match previews. Um, some of you may know that my match vlogs are coming back tomorrow for the Brighton Watford game. So I thought I'd start my match previews up as well. Um, I did a one or two this season, but you know I'm going to bring them back full time as well. Give you all the news on Watford or what I basically know about Watford. Um, I know... And then also Brighton, there's a lot about Brighton and um, when we get all down to this video. But anyway guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. I stand my merch, link for my merch down in the description below. So feel free to check it out after watching this match preview. Um, but as I said, lots to talk about, so let's get down to it. Guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Watford in this um, match preview. We've got about eight to seven first team players out. The likes of Tom Cleverley, Dawson. Um, I think Brighton really do have got to take advantage of this. Um, let alone the comeback that Brighton did against West Ham. Uh, finishing the game 3-3. After the VAR decision, um, I've actually watched that game back. And if you watch the Premier League preview, you, you will know what I said about that handball. Um, but I counted it this time. I watched it again. It took 14 times for one camera angle. 14. I mean, come on, Premier League. If you're not sure, it's not clear and obvious, is it? So um, you're making the rules up as you go, far as I'm concerned. And, and like, Fair enough, you know, the goal still it should have done, but 14 times. I, I was disbelieved by that. It literally, you know, 14 times, and then there's three from another angle. So you look around about 20 times, and um, that's including the slow mos. I'd, I'd understand it when you're slow moing it, but um, not why. Your fast planet. I don't get up it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but let's talk about Glenn Murray's new contract. Uh, we got him for another year. I'm happy to have him for another year. Um, but I'm interested to see where he's going to, you know, sort of be next season. Is he going to be a bench player? Is he going to be maybe? Work his way back to the first 11. Is he going to be one of our backup strikers? That's going to be an interesting thing for Glenn and for us next season. Um, David Proper signed a new contract as well. Great, uh, free, I think he's on a three year contract for the Albion. Um, great midfielder he is. Um, you know, let's not get bogged down with. How many more midfielders we got? Um, half the players I would like to see, you'll probably go, I'll probably put my first ever for this video. Um, knowing probably they won't make it, but this is my first 11, and obviously we find out the real first 11 tomorrow in my vlog. Um, anyway, bit of Brighton news. Um, Brighton are hoping to see Alex, you know who I'm on about, uh, the Argentinian who's just got a work permit, on the 22nd of February. So he'll be back after the winter break, Graham is hoping. Um, I've seen what you guys have put about him, and you know, I'd like to say I'm truly happy to have him. He's another centre midfielder. I think he brings on centre midfielders maybe up to like 7 or 8. Um, I looked at the lineup against West Ham, and I'm going to bring that up in a bit as well. Um, we're hoping to have Shane Duffy available. Um, obviously, we all heard about the injury that he had, um, injury, blood clot in his leg. Um, I'm happy to say, um, by the looks of things, his surgery went well. Um, you know, it's not nice to have it to a player. I know when um. Corner goals have got diagnosed with a heart problem, you know, we all felt it as a club. Um, so hopefully Shane Duffy might be on the bench this weekend. Uh, I can't see him coming to the first eleven. Anyway, um, you know, the likes of 
Webb start and Duffy's mostly on the bench anyway. I would like to see that Duffy and Dunk partnership back up though. Um, will we see it? We're going to have to wait and see. Um, late decision that's going to be made on Dan Byrne. Um, we all know about the bad injury picked up. Uh, if Dan Byrne is available, I probably would put him on the bench ahead of Shane. And that's no disrespect to Shane. Um, I just think that Dan Byrne is one of our first 11 players. And to have him out injured, the bad injury picked up. Um, I think the best way will be to bring him back in is off the bench. And then obviously work Shane back in um, onto the bench after Dan Byrne's fairly fit. Um, we're still without Jose Esquiello. Don't know what's happened to him. I follow a number of Brighton players on social media and I've not seen one picture of Ischiello at the training ground or at the Amex Stadium. Um, it's really one of them things frustrating me with the likes of the players where you're seeing them in their Instagram stories but I'm seeing nothing linked with the club. Um, but uh, we're still without him so... I know he was available for one game, Grandpa said we got him available and then he, um, you know, got unavailable again. So unless you picked up an injury or a setback, you know, it's possibly one of them things, but obviously we, we don't know it, so that's what we're going to have to guess, I think. Um, Watford in their last game lost 3-2 to Everton. Um, Everton went 2-0 down in that game as well. Um, very good combat by Everton. Uh, so, you know, with the likes of how Everton are doing under their new manager, that's a great comeback. And we also done the opposite, uh, the same thing, really. Um, go two goals down, came back 2-1, 3-1 uh, down, and then drew the game 3-3. As I said, it's in the VAR. I don't think it was a handball. Um, if you watch my Premier League predictions, I'll get it to pop up at the end of this video anyway. You've heard what I said about that. You've heard my prediction for this game as well. Um, but I don't think it was a handball. But Premier League need to... If you're not going to, you know, make it clear and obvious, don't say you're looking for the clear and obvious. Um, even if it did bounce off his arm, even, I don't think it did, but I'm saying if it did, then, uh, you know, it's still not clear and obvious because it's that tight to call. Um, I still like VAR, and you will hear me, but, you know, it's really one of them things where VAR, you love it when it's with us, you hate it when it's against us, but it's one of them things, I think. But uh, anyway, here's my 1 to 11. So in goal, Matty Ryan. Matty Ryan, I can't see no other keeper being in there. Um, he's played every minute up in this Premier League season, I think. Um, God, this season's gone by so fast. Um, but yeah, I can't see anyone in goal set from him. Right back. Um, I think this right back position... I find it hard to call between, <coughs> excuse me, between um, Shalotto and Martin Montoya, but I'm going to go with Shalotto um, just for his hype. I was, as I said, I watched the highlights against West Ham, and you're seeing him come on, and you're watching the hype compared to all the other players, and you know, makes him look really big. Obviously, he is. Um, centre back, uh, Lewis Dunk, one of our own. Um, Lewis Dunk, still a lot of speculation around Lewis Dunk, um, transfer wise. Obviously, a transfer window has gone now for this season. The summer is the next one. Personally, my thoughts with Lewis Dunk, I can't see him going nowhere. Um, I think everything he wants to do is with this club. Um, but obviously we're going to have to wait to see what happens. 
The other centre back position, Adam Webster. Um, I think Adam Webster is finding it tough in the Premier League. Let's be honest, I think he's finding it really tough in the Premier League with the likes of, um, you know, Fardy and, you know, but I think he will find his feet, uh, you know, maybe near the end of the season. I think he's getting there. Just the one or two mistakes he's got to work on, but as I said, that come with experience over time. Um, left back, I'll go with Bernardo. Um, obviously, no bong now. He's gone to Forest, and um, so we've only got the one left back really. Without we've had that burnout, which is obviously, as I've just said, Bernardo. And um, so you know the likes of that. I'm gonna go with. I looked at the West Ham, um, as I said, highlights. I looked at the Sky Sports um, formation. I'm going to go with a 4-4-2. So with the left mid position, I'll go with Al Sassi. Um, didn't play against West Ham. I looked at that lineup, and I'm sitting there thinking, why aren't we playing Al Sassi? Why are we playing a centre midfielder out on the left? Obviously, only Grandpa knows the real question, um, but I didn't quite get that bit. Um, centre midfield, I'll go with David Proper. Got no other choice really, but David. Lights of Bazuma, uh, and a few others. Um, but you know, I think David Proper fitting there nicely against Watford, especially about their pace as well that they're going to bring down. Um, in the other centre midfield position, I'll go with Alan Moore. Obviously, since I've done the last Brighton video, Adam Moore has um, signed a new permanent contract with Brighton. Mr. Noah head up at West Ham. Um, but yeah, given the centre midfield position on the right-hand side. Um, right mid. Now, this is where I do struggle. I'm going to go with Trossard. I'll go with Trossard because I don't think March will make the start in 11. He was up on the bench against um, West Ham and he did come on and he did have an impact. But I think we're going to start with Trossard on that right hand side and see what Watford are all about on that right hand side. Um, but yeah, two fast wingers, I think would be alright. Um, right, my two strikers. Now, this is another tough one because of, you know, I've got the likes of Connolly, Mpepe, Murray, you know, and a few other. Strikers and you know people found that number ten and eleven role, but I'm gonna go with Glenn Murray. I've been reading what a lot of you've been saying on our social media, um, and to be honest, I'm gonna understand what you're thinking, and I think this be a perfect game to do it. Um, so yeah, Glenn Murray gets one position, and my other position goes with Neil Mope. Um. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that or, you know, it don't quite sound right, but that's how he said we pronounce it. So, but yeah, anyway, guys, this is my right into what for match preview. Guys, you know what to do. Give it a big front front, but you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.